Every journey starts with a single step, a never-ending quest in today's world to get from point A to point B with one thing in common. Well, two things. It's all about communication. Your laptop talks to your phone, your phone talks to your car, your car talks to a satellite, the satellite also talks to planes, ships, trains, weather services. It's a very talkative satellite. And then one day your car talks to you. Not now, Michael, I have a headache. Hopefully it says something sensible. It started simple enough. Satellites, the exploration of the final frontier, and the promise of never having to ask for directions ever again. From the global positioning system to simple onboard diagnostics. Your check engine light is on. Mm-hmm. Typically that's an indicator to, you know, check your engine. To mobile connectivity and self-driving cars. Now, when you look at telematics as the basic definition here, now telematics is nothing but uh, a technology or solution that enables communication between two objects, or in this case, between two vehicles. Nowadays, the installation of telematics control unit can change your car from a standard vehicle to a smartphone that you can race around town in. And once your car is connected, the next step is giving it eyes in the form of LiDAR, cameras, radar, and ultrasonic sensors the cost of which is expected to drop by 90% in the coming years. The cost of those sensors coming down because the wide deployment in consumer devices has had a huge, huge uh, influence on, on how those systems and technologies are adopted for commercial applications. It's no longer being taken as a luxury or it's no longer being deployed as a luxury, but it's being deployed more as a, a cost-saving initiative. Uh, Every vehicle that is coming out of the market today has some level of connectivity or the other. In the U.S. market alone, the expected 2025 revenue from telematics-enabled vehicles is in the ballpark of $18 billion. By that time, the number of connected cars could be as high as 90%, and one day, we may even reach L5. Level 5 is, is purely autonomous. Basically, you tell the car where it needs to go, and it goes there without incident, and hopefully, you know, safely and, and with, uh, with the passenger having peace of mind. So that's level five, that's, that's utopia. And it's not just cars. Telematics affects every form of transportation from airlines, shipping lanes, cruise ships, trucking routes, entire vehicle fleets networked together to electric scooters, to the hoverboard beneath your feet. No, not that one, that one. The system is working in such a way that it finds the best route for me and the most convenient route for me. And in order to do that, you need telematics to identify where are all these objects or where are all these vehicles. And at any given point of time, where are they present, where are they going, and when will they be available? And what's revolutionizing telematics is a new technology that contrary to online conspiracy theories is not causing planes to crash. The UK's first 5G network, which Verizon and AT&T are launching their 5G services. 5G allows for real-time data, faster data, and more data to be transferred. So the way that benefits, uh, let's say, a vehicle is that there's more information that can be transferred and a lot faster, and there's more information that can also be received. There are telco operators that are actually helping us not only with 5Gs, but also coming across with their own solutions. There are OEMs with their own embedded telematics. There are governments with stringent regulations and requirements which are not only helping us to implement telematics in the region, but they're also providing their own platform. That's essential for last mile delivery, something that's nearly half the logistical cost for any delivery. Why else do you think Amazon wants drone delivery? Yes, to terrify you, but that's more of a bonus. It's a question about items being delivered in a couple of hours. So that's the name of the game right now. How fast can you deliver? And another unexpected industry that could be revolutionized is insurance. The telematics in your car could determine your insurance premiums. See, the insurance industry basically works on a simple principle that, uh, you know, you try to gauge the risk of the driver and then you are, or the car, and you're basically trying to say how much premiums they should pay 
based on how risky they are. Uh, now, traditionally, it's been hard to do that at a driver level because you know we don't have any information about the person. Uh, we only know what you tell us, which is what is your car, where do you live, etc. Now, what is changing with telematics is that we are actually able to see or actually record in in a lot of detail. A, what is your driving style? Like, how do you how late do you break? How fast do you drive? How many rules do you break? So, all a, a a very clear view of your driving style. How much do you drive? So one of the factors in insurance, which is very important, is how long you drive. So typically, the more you drive, the more likely you are to have an accident. Sure, it might mean that your car is its own backseat driver, but it also means it can call emergency services all on its own. You know if. So having a video camera is built in. Um, it quickly um, simplifies the accident handling process for the fleet managers, and it also. Um, shows the insurance company, the law enforcement um, agencies that what had actually happened so that we could, we could save the driver's career and you know, millions and millions of um, wrongful payment in this case. Key objective of telematics should be to get every driver home safely every day. And pretty much everything else cascades from that benefit. If you do that, then you will get the improvement in efficiency through maintenance cost reduction, through looking after the vehicle better, through fuel cost reduction, through not burning as much fuel, through improved driving, through insurance cost reduction, through safer driving. Another key item of telematics is that smarter vehicles and self-driving cars reduce fuel consumption by almost 15%. Telematics is essentially to save money on fuel, to measure and improve utilization of your fleet and your resources, to drive safety, improvement and to empower your employees to do a better job. You're already looking at saving so much of fuel across the board here. You've just got to multiply that by the number of vehicles which are there on road today and multiply that by the fuel cost and that gives you at least uh, a couple of hundred million dollars worth of savings for one small country across the board. Today. There are more and more and more subscription models, whether it's you know, roadside assistance services, so it'll be recovery, um, ride hailing, scooter shares, um, all sorts of mobilities and service businesses, all enabled by obviously software and cloud-based technology. Every country and industry is now racing to create the infrastructure needed for this new world, building networks, establishing protocols, and prototyping new tech to welcome the new world of transportation. So, what is telematics? Technology to monitor and manage uh, assets anywhere, anytime, anywhere in the world. Having a safe, safer uh, fleet and a, a better safety record. A way for us to uh, monitor and understand uh, both the driver and the car. It's, it's the doorway to multiple business models and multiple opportunities uh, for OEM, for tier uh, suppliers, as well as for the end users. No more gridlock, no more getting lost, no more supply chain issues. A unified global infrastructure just around the corner. To keep tabs on what's around the corner, subscribe below to get notified about new episodes.